Hello everybody and I'm going to show you how to make a neat sample sound with uh, one of the default instruments built into LMMS. So, start by getting rid of stuff we don't need right now. I'm not going to use any of that. Oops, there we go. None of that. And go to our sample instruments right here sample presets and the one I am going to use for this example is this Latin guitar 02 which is under the Latin folder that is in your sample presets that come with LMMS so this is how it sounds when you play it out so I drag and drop that up there but I'm not going to be using it like a typical guitar sound at all. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on the instrument. So will bring up the instrument control settings. This not just into the channel. I may not use that, but I just make that a habit. I put it in some channel. So that gives me individual volume control for every channel. So just a habit. And what I'm going to do that's different is you can see the sample waveform down here. If I hold down the key, it plays through it. But what I'm going to do is shift the start and end. You can fine tune it with the mouse scroll wheel here. Move the end here, like so. You can also reverse your sample with this button, but I'm not going to use that this time. And you can loop your sample with that button. So that's what I'm going to be doing is looping the sample. So. Yeah, that's good enough. But something like that. And what we'll do next is click on the envelope LFO tab. Make sure you're in the volume sub tab because you can easily have this selected on something else like resonance or cutoff. You want it on the volume tab underneath the envelope LFO tab. So click that. And click right in the envelope box that turns it the amount all the way to 100%. And what we are going to do is a little bit of a tag. And maybe reduce the hold. Bring out the decay. Sustain. And the release. And release, we want to dial up. You know, that doesn't sound like your regular old guitar there anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Here. Something like that. And now what we want to do is click on the LFO under the volume tab. go to it. You can stop. Yeah, sometimes if the sound keeps playing, you can click stop on that and it'll stop it somehow. Why it does it, I don't know. Sounds interesting though. What we want to do is tick speed and turn it low. Something like that. That's too fast. Maybe we want to turn on modulate envelope mode. Let's see how it goes.
hearing. A little bit more attack here. It doesn't sound like a guitar anymore, does it? And now what we want to do is turn on the cutoff filter. This is low pass frequency cutoff. As you can see by the knob, and what we will do is add a controller rack LFO. Just click add and that gives you an LFO because that's all it has is LFOs at the moment. Of course you can put P controller, but you gotta do that through effects. That's a little different. Not gonna cover that, we just want a simple LFO. And what we will do now is right click on cutoff, connect controller, it's your controller, controller one. Oh, and you can name this too, so if you wanted to name this, uh, like, Instrument 1 or something, or what do you want to call it? I'm going to call it, uh, Cutoff LFO. You can do that. And when you bring up controls, well, it doesn't say it here, but it says it down here. And if you right-click, it says it right there, so that's fine. So you can kind of name it, it just doesn't show up in this control box. So now when we play with it... You hear that sound? The cutoff going in and out. And... I make it faster, so speed lower. Lower value makes a faster frequency. But us just using the mouse wheel to do... Just a little bit goes a long way there. If we play with the resonance. So now we play with the resonance, but what we are going to do is under this tab here, go to the sub tab for resonance. And we're going to click that on and dial up some attack on it, like so. I think I want to dial the hold down a little bit. Okay, like that. I think this envelope here is actually affected by the value setting of this, so this is still relevant. So now we got an interesting sound like that. It's definitely synthesized, but it's a sample. It has been modified with envelope and an LFO. Actually, it's been modified by two envelopes. We didn't do cutoff here, though. But we are using an editor LFO to drive that cutoff. But not this one because it works a little different than how this one works. A little different. In this one, you get more controls like waveforms and stuff, too. And one more thing we are going to do to this. Go to the effects chain with an instrument, add an effect, and use the search function and feedback delay line, maximum delay, one tenth of a second. So let's go with that. And now let's try. Let's see the controls are here already. Now 
here you go. That's like a really cool sound. Play with the setting. This is the sound I was going for. <laughs> it sounds nothing like the original guitar sound came from. So, I'll show you. Alright. This one here, I believe, is the original. And this is what we got out of it. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Showing what you can do with LMS with samples if you play around a little bit. You don't have to go with the default sounds at all. And one more quick thing is shapes. Sure, these little, you can barely hear them. But these two are meant to be looped, like I just did with the other thing. So if we click on the loop sample, you can do the same kind of thing. Click on an envelope. Yeah, do stuff like a release. Basically, you get a sound that's completely different than what you started out with. But you can do that with any kind of sample. Let's see if I just show you. <laughs> By adding effects, you get a totally different sound. So there you go. Neat little trick you can do in LMS.